Hi, my name is Phoebe, and today we are going to go over some features from the new 2024.1 Clo release. There's a lot of new stuff in this release, and we're so excited to share it with you. So without further ado, let's dive on in. We've made some updates to our UI, especially at the top menu bar here. You'll see that now to access close set and connect, you can do that at the top menu bar. And also we've added in production instead of editors. So if I want to access close set, I can easily just click here and I'll see all my close set options. To go into connect, I can select here and this is where I can access my everywhere feature where I'll also see some updates to this UI to just reflect the colors and fonts changes. And then in production, that's where I'll see all of my old editors, colorway, BOM, and grade review. If I want to find fabric creator, that'll be in fabric. And to find avatar editor, that's within avatar. We also have more avatars within our avatar folder within our library. Here we have a metahuman folder where there are preloaded metahumans for you to use within Clo. Just know you can't edit these within Clo. They have to be edited in the metahuman platform. We also have more avatars in our connect library. So going into connect, we have added in a faceless kid avatar that's also adjustable within our avatar editor. Now you can easily move around your avatar's measurement lines within Clo so that it can match up closer to your own measurement positions. Moving into our avatar editor, you can see that we've made our UI a little bit simpler and easier to work with. One really nice update is with this settings icon over here, I now can select and choose which measurements I want to edit and see within my avatar editor. I can then close out this window and see that update reflected here in my avatar editor. Another really nice update is the fact that you can now link and unlink the total width and total height to the below measurements. So you can make it so that these measurement changes either reflect within all measurements, or you can make it so that they're independent in the adjustments. You can then really quickly and easily go through and add in all the measurement changes you want within the avatar editor, like so. We've added in an option for crotch width within the avatar editor. This will allow you to adjust the width between the thighs at the crotch. We've also added more options for crotch for male avatars. You'll have the crotch width option, but you'll also have a crotch volume option as well, which will adjust the volume of the crotch, making it so fittings with intimates and swim are a lot more accurate. Bringing files into Clo has never been easier. With our connection to Clo set in our library, you can easily bring in Clo set files into Clo. And with this new update, you can even bring in previous versions of a file into Clo from Clo set. Applying seam allowance in Clo has always been easy, but with this new update, it is now closer to industry standard, especially for darts. So now when you add in seam allowance to our darts, the default will be to cut into it, but you're still always have that option to apply different seam allowances for darts that match to industry standard. We have now made it so that the dart information stays even when you move or rotate the dart within Clo. So here, if I rotate this dart, 
I'll keep my baseline information even after it's rotated, which allows for more consistency in the information of the pattern throughout Quill. You can now add fullness to even half symmetrical patterns. Using your fullness line tool in your 2D toolbar, you can then go in and add in your fullness to this half symmetrical pattern piece easily and quickly. When checking sewing, you'll see that now when you want to change your sewing line type between turned on or off, you can do that fairly easily, either using the new shortcut key, the apostrophe, or the new UI update with the checkbox, you can turn turned sewing line type on or off fairly quickly and easily. We've now made it so that our buttons and button holes are linked when fastened together, making it so when you change the button size, you have the option to link the button hole to that button. So you can adjust just your button size and it will automatically make it so the button hole adjusts with it, making editing buttons even easier and faster within Clo. When you're finished with your garment, you can save out the project, but we also have this great update where you can save it into a modular library where you can have all your blocks. Within this library, we actually have added in another update, auto modular labeling. This will automatically label the patterns within your workspace to let you know which block sections they should be in. Adding in blocks to your modular library is the same process as before, really quick and easy. This allows you to create a whole library that you can then play with in the future. Now you can edit your style names within modular library easier than ever. So you can select your styles and if you wanna edit the style name, you can just easily do that. Renaming the style and also adding in a new thumbnail will also apply to all of the blocks as well, which makes everything unified and stays together. Now within the knitwear feature, we've added the ability to adjust the colorization of melange, giving you control over the color positions and randomizations within your knit yarns. It's easier than ever to rotate your knit direction within Clo. In your property editor, you now have a slider where you can rotate the fabric direction of your knit quickly and easily. Now, when creating artwork in Photoshop or other softwares and their color signature is ICC or sRGB, Clo will recognize those colors even better than before making it so that there's more color consistency between different softwares. So what's great is now with graphics, you're going to have this option, use same map as fabric, where you'll be able to link your fabric maps to your graphics. So your normal map, your opacity map, your displacement map, all of those can be linked. So anything that you do in your fabric to those maps, will be seen with your graphic as well, which will then create a great blended look to your graphics, which is really helpful for certain graphic effects. Using our new print type feature within Clo, you can quickly choose between different preset options we have for you to apply to our graphics. There's digital, craft, vintage, gold foil, and blend it. All of these options make it so you can quickly and easily achieve the print effect that you want in Clo faster and easier. A really exciting new feature we have is the generate PBR maps. 
Now in Glow, you can automatically generate all of your maps through your texture map for everything. All you have to do is go into this little icon next to your map and select it and that will generate that map for you. And it will actually be a map that you can edit. With our new colorway, we've created a more dynamic system within colorways to allow you to create more options within your colorway editor. So now when you add in colorways, you will now have the flexibility of adding in colorways that can be adjusted for just materials or colorways that can be adjusted for all properties, or you could bring in colorways that are actually linked together. All of this will allow you to create a range of different colorway options that will work within your specific workflows and allow more freedom to see your garments in different options. So going into the settings icon over here, this is where you can actually access all of these options. And you can do this both in a overall scale or you can do it on more of an individual scale. So you can either pick an entire fabric section on how you want to add it or you can select individual fabrics or individual top stitches or individual graphics on how you would like those to be added in or you could select the whole section. You'll still be able to change out colors, change out prints, change out textures, change sizes, and also you'll be able to now change out fabric properties or link colors if you need to. All of these options are now open to you through this new colorway improvement. Now, you have two separate ways in which you can add in points of measure within Clo. There is the segment line option and also the polyline option. Pressing the P key will allow you to switch between these two options. The segment line option allows you to just follow pattern outlines easily and quickly while the polyline option will actually allow you to stop your measurement within your pattern, which creates a little more of a dynamic measurement tool for you. It even can create measurements outside of patterns as well, allowing for an array of different points of measures all within your garment. Grading graphics within Clo has never been easier. Going into our grading tool, you can then select your graphic and what we now have the option of is grading in percentages. So now you can easily and quickly grade all of your graphics using percentages instead of measurements, which makes grading even easier. Now within Clo, you can stack using internal lines which is really helpful for a lot of different grading scenarios. Within Grade Review, you now have the option to view in a panoramic view option. So here are my view options, I can change to panoramic, which will then make it so all my avatars are within one window, which is really nice for when you need to review all of your sizes at once or you want to review graphic placements or anything like that. You can also rotate all of your avatars around to see what it's like in front, side, and back. Now, using schematic render to get a sketch-like appearance, you'll be able to see your zipper outline more clearly within this update. Now, when you want to make adjustments to your avatar's appearance, you can use the style configurator 
And what we've added within that is being able to also change out their eye color. So you can still change the hair, skin, underwear, eyebrows, lips, and now the eyes as well. Which is really great because you can now create really interesting avatars all within Clef. When you've created displacement maps and are in your render window, we've made it so now there is no minimum for particle distance with your displacement maps, making it so even really fine graphics like this can work really, really well within Clo because you can lower the particle distance to below one. We now have this feature lock camera which when paired with interactive render will make it so that you can lock your render image to a specific viewpoint and then freely move around within your 3D window to add in lights or change directions or anything like that and see how that will affect your rendered image making it so all of your changes you can see real time but also in your rendered camera angle so here i have a lot of different custom views that i would like to render out within clo you now can render all of your custom views individually and merge them all together in one image so that you can easily move and place and share your different viewpoints with other people quickly and easily. Like so. Once you're finished rendering out your garment, you now can use our new feature called the AI Avatar Studio, which is right over here. And what this will do is it's actually going to allow you to put a very realistic avatar on your rendered image. So you can do this through either creating an AI avatar, like so, going through the options, creating out prompts, or using random prompts, editing those prompts. And then what you can do is start to generate those AI avatar faces. Once you get a face you'd like, you can then generate it out and place that onto your avatar. Or if you want, you can always go to the image option up top. And here what you can actually do is bring in an image of any face that you have. So here I'm actually gonna do my face. And then you can hit generate and then that will generate out your rendered image with your face on the avatar. This has really created a lot of interesting new rendering options within Clo, and will really help your e-commerce and other like marketing strategies that you want to do with your rendered images. Once the 3D file is completed in Clo, users can go to the cloud platform Closet for further collaborations. When you have logged into Closet, you may upload and share your 3D files with others. In the new version of Closet, we have a new upload interface to streamline your upload process. Users can also directly drag and drop the files to the screen as an efficient way to upload multiple files at once. The uploaded files can then be viewed in our live 3D viewer. Closet is providing other options in which to view your garment, such as with garment fit maps. This will enhance your co-creation with other users. We also have included a visual board within Closet for creating presentations with your 3D assets. In the visual board, users can mix and match different content, such as the 3D garment, fabric, images, color palettes, and more to present the design and its concept. The viewer of the visual board is able to view the 3D garment in the 3D linked viewer, and the board can be shared to everyone by a hyperlink. It can also be utilized in different stages of your design creation, such as a mood board for concept development and cataloging for line adoption. 
making it easy and efficient to jump between Clo and Clo set, no matter where you are in your process. Thank you so much for watching and making it to the end. If you want more tips and tricks on all of our new features, check out the features corner section on our YouTube page. We have individual videos where I'll walk you through all the little things and fun facts about each feature. Have fun building with Clo 2024.1 and keep on learning.